welcome back to the vlog. It is the beginning of another week here in this crazy household. Um, we've got a busy week. We've got a bunch of things that we need to mm, love every. We've got a bunch of things that we need to get done. Um, we've got to get a passports. We have some plans with some friends. We've got to prep for our trip. There's just a lot of like random things that I still have on my to-do list. So yeah, come along, come along for the ride. Alrighty then. It's really nice out. So I'm very much looking forward to going to the dog park. I know. Your ball. Where is it? Oh, I'm not in the puddle. Okay, where's your ball? Oh no. Where is it? I finally put makeup on. So exciting. I didn't know. Love it. I'm listening to the morning toast. I'm obsessed with the morning toast. Ah, yeah. Okay, let's get ready. So, uh, first scrutiny, I'm not gonna lie. Um, and before Outfit. I Yikes. Okay, not me wearing the same hoodie last night and today, but it's totally fine. Um, Let's see what I get up to. I don't really know what we're gonna do or where we're gonna go. Maybe some thrifting, actually. I think we'll, we'll do some thrifting. My hair is crazy, crazy town. Wow. Maybe I'll put that back, because it's just a little much at the moment. Claw clips. I die for them, they're so good. Okay. Oh. This is, it's officially, what morning? It's Friday morning. So about to kick off the weekend when Kyle's done work. We'll see what we get up to this weekend. But anyways, I'm, I'm off. Okay, so the things that I got at the thrift store, um, when I went, I got this candle that had not been used, just like a really good like vanilla scent candle, and it was like four bucks, and it is a steal, because these are like 20 bucks at home sense. so love that. Um, I also got this little tray which I'm just using it right now for bread, but it's, I can use this for a bunch of different things. Like I could use it on the table here, like on the island here, has some sort of decor. When we get a dining room table, don't mind all the boxes still, put it on the table. And then I got this Christmas jar, which I think is so cute but it's awesome because I can just use it all year round and just turn the Christmas tree around. So I was thinking I might actually put it upstairs because I moved all of the bottles, like the baby bottle station into the bedroom because it's just closer to the nursery and I was finding that I was trying to make bottles up there so often anyways. So I moved it from here upstairs, which I'll just go and show you. But I might try and use this up there and put like the bottle, lid things in here um so let's go upstairs and see if we like that idea okay so i just moved it right here um but yeah i'm thinking about maybe putting all of the bottles not the bottles but the lids in here and just kind of storing it so because that kind of just matches a, a little bit better and again once we get the mini fridge the built-in, we can move that one. And yeah, I mean, it's just practical, so. 
Okay, I'm just getting little baby Noah all ready for his first ever passport photos, which I'm so excited to get them. They're gonna be so cute, hopefully. Hopefully it's not too much of a nightmare. Right? Right? Photo day, photo day. I feel like I've walked into one that doesn't have that big stand at the front that says they do passport photos, you know? But then maybe it's tucked in the back. Could be tucked. I think it's just tucked, tucked. It's possible it's tucked, tucked, yuck. There tucked you right. are. Oh, that's so cute. Noah, oh. over here. Hi, sweetheart. Over Hi. here. Right here. Who's that? Hi. Hi, Noah. I'm gonna try one more. Okay. Hi, sweetheart. Right here. Oh, good one! Uh, that was a good one! <laughs> did you just do such a good job with the passport photo? <gasps> yeah, you did. You did. You crushed it. Perfect socks for the occasion. Oh, you're slipping off. Okay, we're at the passport office. We went to the downtown location and not a word of a lie, there was 2,000 people in lineup, like seriously wrapped around the inside, wrapped around. And so when we got here, it was also wrapped around outside, but it's not that much outside. So Kyle's waiting in the lineup and I'm with little Noah. I'm with little Noah. We're hanging out in the car. Are we hanging out in the car? That's you. That's you. Yeah. So we're hanging out together. So Noah's not in the cold. Right? We don't want you in the cold. Kyle just texted me seven people in front of me outside. So. Fingers crossed we're not here for hours and hours and hours and hours although it's definitely possible we shall see we shall see I'm trying a celsius for the first time to see what all the hype is about and they're so good yeah noah they're so good they're so good yeah you can't have them because you still drink milk you drink uh from the bottle. Women who breastfeed, especially women who breastfeed for a long time, you deserve a medal. I cannot do it. Okay, we are home from the passport place, which we didn't get them finished, but where are all our cutting boards? We didn't get the passports done, but we got all the paperwork that we need. Um, and everything like that. Oh, here. <laughs> I put everything in specific drawers. And then bless Kyle's school, he does the dishes a lot of the time. But then they get, things get put in random spots and I'm slightly OCD when it comes to like furniture or where things go. So yeah, that's always fun. But you know what, whatever. 
Um, I just put Noah down for a nap and I'm starving. So I'm gonna make a little sandwich or like an open face sandwich situation and we'll call it a day. laundry person because I love clothes that I can dry like I hate hang drying things I'm like whatever I'm gonna dry it and if it shrinks I'll get a new one <laughs> or I'll get or I'll get a different quality one that won't shrink unless it's obviously silk or like a material that you really can't dry like a cotton tee I'm sorry I'm putting that in the dryer that's why I literally love Aritzia because you, when you dry Aritzia's sweatpants and sweatshirts, they are comfier than when you don't. I'm just saying. Whereas like the bar hoodies, no offense, these hoodies suck. Like they actually suck. You can't dry them, which is fine. But the second you wash it, the material is like, it just isn't. It's like, gets pilly, it looks cheap. Like it's just, you see everyone wearing these and it's like, no. Seeing the quality and just, like it's not, it's not it. It's not it, sis. Like, I have to wash this hoodie. So why are you making it such shitty quality where the second I wash it, it's like I just threw a hundred dollars down the drain. Like even these ones, I'm like, I dried them. I followed all the instructions and they, it just, no, like they are the literal worst. So if you're out here thinking you're missing out on these bar sweaters, you're missing out for the first two wears and then they're the actual worst. So, so we're currently, we're going to Miami soon in the next couple weeks. And I don't have a travel stroller, so I need to get one. But I honestly, I've been watching a ton of YouTube videos and like, I don't want to spend $300 plus on a travel stroller. Like, I just don't want to spend that money. We've got the Uppa Baby Vista for his everyday stroller and I, I'm obsessed. Like, that one is so good. We've got the um, coordinating car seat as well. So it just clips in, clips in. So I really don't want to spend like a shit ton of money on a travel stroller. Also, we don't, or at least we haven't traveled that much with, no, this will actually be our first trip. Um, and he'll be six months when we go. So like, do I want to invest in an over the top or an expensive travel stroller? Like, I don't think so. So I've just been looking online. I think I'm gonna go with the the Evan Flow Aero Ultralight stroller. Um, I don't know if I'm pronouncing any of that right, but it looks like it compacts down quite small. It looks like it's got most of the features that I care about. It's got the under bin storage. It can it can um, the seat can recline back. It's got like a little cup holder and we'll also bring our up a baby um, like detachable, what is it called? The piece that goes on the handlebar so we can put more things in it. I'll just bring that too. And I think that that'll be fine. It's $140 Canadian. And that way, like if it gets ruined or, you know, if we never use it again, it's really not the end of the world. So I think that's what I'm going to go with. Um, 
I don't know though. I'm gonna keep doing some research and see. My hair is crazy. I'm gonna keep doing some research and see, but that's, I guess, what I'm leaning towards. Um, there's a few other one, good ones, but they just don't, they don't fold down as small. So I think that's going to ultimately be the one we go with. Um... Okay, well, I will keep you posted on the stroller we end up going with. I don't know. I'm now questioning everything and wondering if I should just spend a little bit more and get a better quality one. So I don't know if I'm gonna go with one of those inflatable um, beds for kids to sleep on on the plane because it's super hit or miss whether or not we have um, a seat in the middle to use that on because right now he's under two he's six months he doesn't get his own um seat we definitely didn't get him his own ticket so yeah that's just kind of hit or miss like do we spend the money and see if we get to use it so anyways i'll do a pack with me and i'll pack everything that we ended up going with um i'm gonna wrap it up here um and i will see you in the next one bye